Welcome to another video. In this video, I am going to show you how to use a light box to create a drawing from a photo. So I have a light box here and it is with, uh, connects with a USB cord. So you could plug this into your computer or into any sort of converter plug. And I just plug this in. And then you can turn it on and it has a few different brightnesses to it. If you don't have a light box, you can do the exact same thing by taping your photo and then your tracing paper onto a window during the day. Um, but this is a nice way to do it if you don't have time to do something like this during the daylight. So I'm placing my drawing and my tracing paper down. Then I'm going to turn on the light box. You can put a little piece of tape if you'd like here to keep things um, from moving. I'm just going to hold mine down and this is a sweet pea layout that I've created for a project in the watercolor garden. So um, there are two images that I got, uh, Pixabay and iStock photos and I photoshopped out the sweet pea flower from one photo and the leaves from another photo and then I um, combine them together in Photoshop to create my own sort of composition. And I'm just taking a mechanical pencil. I like to use um, an H lead. It's a bit harder than HB. Oops, I turned it off with my arm. And then I'm just going to go around and trace the outlines of this beautiful sweet pea flower. And I've laid this out so that it'll be uh, eight and a half by 11 size painting. Uh, you can also use a smaller version so that you have something like a five by seven for something like making a card. Apparently that is in the way of my arm, so just turn that back on again. And I'm not putting in all the detail, all of the lines and contours, just enough, the very, very major lines to transfer um, to my paper, my watercolor paper to paint. And you can have a look underneath to make sure that you're getting everything that you need. Again, just noting the major contour lines there. Now I'll move on to the leaves. So I'm just indicating the very sort of main veins on my tracing. And I'm taking care to trace and draw in the way the leaves connect to the stems carefully, as that will make for a more realistic drawing. And there's some cutouts here from these leaves of where the flowers were overlapping that I photoshopped out, so I'm just creating an entire um, edge there. So I'm just adding that in on my own. And the same here, there's a bit of a leaf fold over and I'm ignoring that and just drawing this leaf in um, in its entirety here. I often can't find one picture that has the quality of the flower and the leaves the way that I would like it and the composition that I'd like it. So I often Photoshop out pieces of multiple photos and then also draw in my own details. So it's a combination of a few different photos plus made up details um, from me. So it's slightly different than the way some other botanical artists work. And now it's getting to be quite thin up here with the tendrils. So I'm just going to switch to doing just a single line 
to indicate these because I can just thicken them ever so slightly when I'm painting. So just single lines are fine for that. Going to tidy this part up here a little bit with my kneaded eraser. Going back and making sure I have all the details of the flower. And I'll lift this up to check that I've got everything. And then that's another thing to rem I re reminded to do is that this stem on the photo ended here, but I am just going to bring it down like that for my drawing. So now I have my nice sweet pea composition done and there's my reference photo to work from and that's how you use a light box.